Welcome back to another episode of the Steamy Weeby Show. Brought to you by Purple Mattress and Blue Chew Penis Pills. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome Tristan Cruz from CruxWorldwide.com, and that's a pin company, correct? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for Dude, coming, my man. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Um, Such a trip to be here. Dude. Yeah. What do you think about the place? I. No, it's cool. Uh, I was I was listening to the Free the Robots episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Like two hours ago, I was just listening to Free the Robots and cutting my toenails, and yeah, then like yeah, all yeah. of a sudden, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, it's weird because I met Free the Robots at Soundcheck for the Fantastic Planet um, album release party. Yeah. And I met you randomly. At soundcheck, <laughs> you were just sitting on a couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just sat next to you, and we just got along instantly. Isn't that, that right? Yeah. What What were you talking about? You, you. The first thing you said to me was, "Are you? I. The last time I've been here, I did LSD at a warehouse oh, party. Yeah. <laughs> his starter. His, his intro line was, "I've been." At parties like this on LSD, I I've only been there once on LSD and it was, it was yeah it was trippy. It was like a va- I felt like I was inside a vaporwave um, computer or something. Like, yeah, how do you have how, you ever been when like uh, they I doll it, it up? I did in the nineties. In the nineties, I no I, not LSD but chewing foil when like they they have like that's my first chewing the video. No. They, they have video games no, and everyone's. No. I, that's my first event. Uh, okay. Yeah, for well, that one, they knew it was going to be a huge event, so they took out a bunch of stuff. But normally, they'll have like crazy. like a truck oh, like wow. thing. There's like a bunch of video games. Wow. How'd you People hear? How'd you up. get it? How, 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 how do I know whole, about chewing foil? Yeah. Uh, my friend Corbin, he's he's part of uh, my a part of a beat collective that I'm a part of, too, called oh. Green and Gold. Oh, I didn't even know. You make beats? I don't make beats. Oh, but I'm just a like one of the artists. Let me see it's it again. Like an art and Green like, and Gold um, Beats. Yeah, spells, there's like nine lies. of us. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, and so, Corbin's hey, a part of it. That. I didn't, had no idea you were a part of that. Yeah. yeah sure. So what kind of um, what kind of like is it like just instrumental beats and stuff? Yeah, just like uh, it varies like lo-fi. Oh, uh, dope. Corbin's love... doing a bunch of like shout out to Corbin, uh, huh? Vaporwave. Yeah, yeah shout yeah, out yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to him. He's he's doing. Yeah, we gotta big, get him on the show. Big, or we got to get some of the other beat makers because yeah, they're friend, always welcome on the Stevie Weeby my, show. My, my friend Chip really wants to come, but he had work today. I, is I Chip wanna, a producer too? Yeah, he makes beats and he's oh, a really oh, great what, artist. What, is, what does he use? I don't know. <laughs> he uses a computer. No, I mean like he uses a computer. Yeah. He Like whenever they talk about beats and like all these things, like mm-hmm. I just like... I zone out and I like start like yeah. That's what I you loved remember? about you, because when because you during um, Little Ray's performance, my performance, you were right next to my girlfriend, in it. <laughs> Do you remember this guy? I remember. He was dancing. Yeah, in the I, was, he was I, like, I dance. Oh I, uh, my! I love that dude. Pound on that. Yeah, he's on the he's yeah he's on the website. <laughs> no, I kind of like. At the end of the night, I was like, "Oh no! Like, what did I do?" Because like I was like dancing the no, whole no, night, you did fine. and like every all everyone's just like taking photos. Yeah, like, I want to take a photo of the crowd because it's just like so you know yeah. crazy. 
Yeah, and like, but it you looks were you didn't lit. care. You were in it. Yeah, I was Dancing. in it. I always I, I always do. Yeah. I like to dance. Did you like um did you like Lil Ray's set or my set? I like yours better. Than than Ray? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're, Where is he, anyways? Like, I have no I, idea, but uh, he's been a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm sick of that guy. He's just been bothering me. You know, he wasn't on the flyer. Yeah, every time I so, see you, I, 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 yeah. I always miss him. Like, yeah, you know, well, he's stuck on a purgatory planet as we yeah. speak. Him and that robot beep. So we'll talk. Well, we don't have to talk about them. You know, they're uh, fine. You know, there you just go. as I just need a break from them. So let's get into your history. Like, like, how did you? F- where are you from, firstly? I'm from Costa Mesa, oh, California. Costa Mesa. Okay. Yeah. I've, been, I've, been, I've lived there forever. Isn't yeah. Near Orange County? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right next to Newport. The best way I describe it is like it's in South Coast Plaza, mm-hmm. but like next to the IKEA. I love it. And Ikea. everyone's like, oh, I know where that IKEA yeah. is. Well, yeah, I live next I love to IKEA. IKEA the, the well, this desk is from IKEA. I'm not so sure of their beds. Because I used to have a Kia bed that's not here. I'm not. Their beds are uncomfortable, but they're cheap. Where'd you get that bed? That's a purple mattress. But that's a purple mattress bed right there. Purple mattress, huh? Yeah, that's a great bed. So I'm so happy about that instead of the the last one, right, Bryce? Right. Um. But anyway, what's it like for an Asian guy growing up in Costa Mesa? What was that like? What was it like? Uh, mm-hmm. It's pretty normal. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, I before that I lived in Santa Ana, mm-hmm. and like when when I was growing up, um, luckily I dodged it because in Santa Ana there's two schools. There's McFadden and MacArthur, mm-hmm. and those two like they they don't. It's like MacArthur is mm-hmm. like the the school that everybody wants to go to, mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. McFadden is kind of like hell. Like there's oh. so there's like there's two sides, what are and the so like people would line up. Like smart, it's like better teachers mm-hmm, and everything, mm-hmm. and like wow. better opportunities in yeah. McFadden, and then all the troublemakers they all go to uh, the, the other one. Oh no, MacArthur. MacArthur. MacArthur is a good one. McFadden is like I went to McFadden. They so you my, went to the bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you went to the bad. Well, one. they knew my parents knew we we're gonna move. Yeah. So they were just like, oh, let, who cares? Like, we're not gonna wait in line and like do this whole yeah like, yeah yeah because yeah, there's yeah. A, like a. You have to get accepted to it's like for a, a public high school. Yeah, no, no, no. It wasn't a high school. It was a junior high school. Did I say this high is school? for junior high? It's for junior high. That's how crazy it was. So and you so have when, to apply for junior high school. Well, I mean, like you have to like get there and like get, get on wow. the list because oh everyone wants to go to that good school. Have you heard of these schools, Bryce? Wait, where are you from? Wisconsin. He's from Wisconsin, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are they, are, what? Are they, Wisconsin Badgers? Yeah, yeah. That's they're cool. they're red and white. Huh? Yeah. That's University of Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah. Shout out to my man, Ethan Wick. I Ooh. hope you do well in the NCAA wrestling tournament in a few months in the Big Ten tournament, okay? Look out for Ethan Wick. I'm, I'm a huge wrestling fan. But back to you, my friend. Yeah, so Mike Fadden. And then after that, um, it was just crazy. And I don't think I could cut it. Mm-hmm. So uh, we moved to, to Costa Mesa and everything was just laid back. Everyone yeah. was just so chill. chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's such a Isn't small a surf school. community or? No, it's... It, I don't know. It's Costa Mesa is like one of those cities that like kind of like go under the radar. You don't yeah. really notice it. Yeah. But, is that um, near Huntington? Yeah, it's close to Huntington. Oh. It's pretty much close to. Uh, it's in the middle of everything. It's close to Santa Ana. Yeah. Close to Newport. Close to Tustin. Yeah, yeah. Close to Westminster. So I'm like right. You're right there right in the middle. There. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, I yeah. can go to Long Beach. The furthest for me would be like Riverside or LA. Yeah, yeah. So how did you like, how did, when did you start getting into like music and then how did you get into the pin movement and like, uh, what, what made you think of starting your own company and all that? Well, in high school, I just, I, I, um, I always drew and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Art classes? Huh? Art class. Art class. Mm-hmm. I had. I took two. Mm-hmm. For some reason, like my art wasn't ever really that good. But everybody that I, I knew was just always just uh, super supportive. They're always like, "Oh, yeah, that's we, cool. We love your work." Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I look back at my old work, and I'm just like, "Yeah, this, this sucks." Like I, I don't even know why you guys like yeah. it. But it's a, it lifted Wait. me up. I think if somebody just told me like, "Oh, you're not good enough," like I think that would have deterred me. Yeah, but dude, it's. You're the most critical. I think artists are the most critical in their own work. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we've had quite a few artists, right? Wouldn't you say, Bryce, on this show? Yeah. And 
I think that the trick to, to their success is, I guess, becoming a hermit. A hermit? Yeah, just like isolating from the world and like just doing it like for uh, like hours, like, yeah. like all night. Well, I developed this style because like uh, when I was a sophomore, I just... I started smoking marijuana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so that developed your style? Devo- yeah, yeah. Well, not this. This is more yeah. different than the the previous. I wish mm-hmm. I had some to show you, but mm-hmm. it's like re- line art. It's all psychedelic yeah. and everything. I get that vibe from you. The first time I met you, once what? you said that, I'm like, Wait, oh. When she said acid, yeah, I like, knew you were. In my mind, I'm like, oh, this is a psychedelic cat right, right here. Nah. Like, yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. Your it's just your personality was familiar to me. Like there was like really? some kind of like kinship there. I was like, I don't same I, with like, you. I, like, I was like, Dude. I know this. Like I know this guy, but I had <laughs> never met you in my life. Yeah. Well, for me it was different. I'm like, I definitely know this guy. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> You sat and next was, to you sat next to me on the couch, and I was just like, you were sitting on the edge too, yeah. and you were all talking to me. I was like, hey, do you do you want to you want to sit down? Yeah, you're like, okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. That was a stressful sound check. <laughs> I was excited to meet Exile and uh, uh, Free the Robots. Dope. Free yeah. the Robots, dope. I saw yeah. Free the Robots at Beat Cinema. Yeah, yeah. And so, I was dude, like, that's. That's like a huge scene, right? That beat scene in LA. Is, yeah, everything. Everyone's yeah. all connected to to everybody. And the, like, I used to go to the Crosby a lot. That's how I knew. Do they Chris. have like beat showcases? There? The Crosby was uh, free. Uh, Chris's um, restaurant. That was Alfaro's restaurant. Chris, yeah. Chris Alfaro. Yeah. Mm. Shout out to Chris again yeah, for hey. be, being on the show. <laughs> uh, my homie Mestizo brought me to um, a random like place on Melrose and. He paid five dollars and walked up these stairs, and each room had like a, a different like beat set going on. They had the I don't I don't know if it's able to Melrose. So, yeah, but they had like the ones where they're tricking like the colorful buttons and yeah, it looks it, trippy. It tripped me out. Yeah, I it, was really tripped out. I was like, what are they doing it live? Or, <laughs> have you seen this place? So these guys are doing all beat sets, and they have these um these buttons that they're there's like. 60 buttons or something they're like doing it live but they're like hitting it so fast and it, it's, it's all it's like it's a crazy. whole concert of them like it's a whole set of them doing this live beat set and they, the one guy would do like 20 minutes and then another guy would hop on he'd have a whole different style yeah but there's a whole movement i didn't even i'm not familiar with it i'd like to to get yeah, to know uh, it more. my you should go to the beat battle it's well, where's uh that? where's it's that this sunday i think I, I, I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, there's I think battles there's a stuff. beat battle at Chewing Foil on a Sunday. I'll, I'll, I'll message oh, you. I'm I, sure. I yeah. think it's going to be, um, it's not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. I would yeah, like to go just to maybe network and, and meet some producers I that think, way. I think you would like it. I mm-hmm. don't even know how they judge it, but like. <laughs> how would you judge a beat? Yeah, how do you judge that? It's not like a, a rap battle where yeah, you're just yeah, like dissing yeah. each other. Yeah, and this it's like, is all right, just, next time. But I think it's more kind of like if you're on the, the, the beat, metronome, the heat, and yeah. then like just like I don't know. Do you do you do you know about this Equipments whole are all different subculture, too. Bryce, of what's going on? The beat culture, dude. Check this out. So I was in one of the rooms, and then the, the, this black dude, like he was like, "Hey, Stevie Weeby show," and I'm like, I was taken back, like, oh, like he he was the dude. That like was throwing the whole event. I should have like got his name because I would have loved him as a guest. Yeah. But he like I think coordinated the whole night. Oh. So I was like, you know, I was kind of tripping that night. I was like, literally. Do you know what it's called? No, there was three rooms though. Three had, rooms. Yeah. Okay. It was. It reminded me of like a chewing, like a, like a mini, mini, mini rave or something like that. They like a mini, rooms. mini one. So yeah, it's there's crazy. a whole there's a whole scene out there, huh? So shout out to my man uh, Mike yeah. Gao too. I want my man. I want I need Mikey on here one day, because my friend Mike does beats as well. But uh, I'm old. I do beats, but it's more like boom bap, old school like hip hop beats, okay. like where I just loop a break beat and find like jazz samples. And I totally know what you mean about like the the whole. There's so many buttons. Like, how are you doing that? How like, are they doing it flawlessly? Is what I want to know. Did you see Leilani set? Yeah, did you I see mean, her doing so that? Fixated. She's like, boop, 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 yeah, yeah. Did you see boop, Leilani boop. set? Very good. She, she killed it, dude. I was like, how, like, where, do, how do you know what, which to push? You know, I just so know. many buttons. It's so yeah, futuristic. It's futuristic, yeah. Well, I have Ableton now. You do? I don't know how to use it. Okay. 
Yeah, I I'm had just, Ableton I'm, I'm too like once. Just staring I don't at know. it. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Ableton is what all the dope producers are using. I can't get pa- I can't get to step one. I don't even know how to load a like a kick on it or a snare. I'm like looking at it. I spend yeah. an hour just looking at it, and then when I look at the tutorial, I'm like, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I try to use GarageBand, and that's that that's is more, more user friendly. Yeah, I could teach you that. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, I know. You, I kind of know how to. You I, make your own beats. Yeah, I do it. Yeah, I do oh, all yeah, the samplers. You use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I learned cool. on this. I learned on this first. I learned on the MS1 first. Okay. And this nice. was dope because you could put batteries in it. And then, you know. But you can't, you can't rely buttons. on that live though, right? Do you no, use that live? No, it's just no. to make, if you have a memory it's card. Just to make like a This beat. is to make a beat. Yeah. To make a beat and to layer stuff like, okay, so like if I wanted to, I use the SP303 now, but if I were to make a beat on this thing, I would put the break beat on button four mm. and then I would loop it perfectly. I'm like really um, OCD about doing like a perfect loop. Yeah. And I create, I sound design my own break beats, but... Um, I do that, and then on the rest of the buttons, I I try to come up with like find obscure jazz samples. Uh, if I had cool. a working turntable, I would do that, go through those records. Yeah. But since we have uh, the internet now, you don't even need that. Right. Yeah. Again, like when you're describing that, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like well, but, but the th- the which thing is, is like, you would think you would think I would know more about like um, beats and like yeah. instruments and music and everything yeah. since I'm a part of a well, an art beat collective. Yeah, and like every, I'm like well, the little th- brother th- looking th- at this is the simplistic way of <laughs> the stuff I initially talked about, like the yeah. sixty buttons. This is only eight buttons, so that's why I was like trying to near, like bring it back to the to the origin of of like how to do that. But but we have to take a break. For our sponsors, our first sponsor is Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a pill that you chew up, and then a couple minutes later, hard, dude, like a carrot. Okay. If you want to do that, I mean, if I was single, I would still take it just to masturbate. And use my my um my pocket vagina, but um, I have a girlfriend, but uh, she's she's back home now. But I, I I would still do it, and I have taken blue chew and masturbated, and it's it's more of a pleasurable experience. So if you want to have a pleasurable experience like me, um, masturbating, go to bluechew. Dot com promo code Stevie and try it for free, my friends. Right now, we've got a special deal for our listeners. Visit bluechew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code Stevie. Just pay five dollars shipping, right, Bryce? Right. Blue Chew is the better, cheaper, faster choice, and we thank them for sponsoring the podcast. How's that? Sounds pretty good. Okay, with that being said. Back to what we're talking about. I didn't have any of this stuff written. I didn't think we were going to talk about this, no. but, but I, I had no qu- idea you're involved in the beat collective yeah. scene and all that stuff. Well, I have questions for you too. Yeah, yeah. Like, so when when did you start? When when did you want to do your own podcast? That's a very good question. Okay, so I'm also in a um. You know, you mentioned DVD ASA, right? Yeah. B- but but you stopped. Li- <laughs> you said you stopped listening once I got on. Yeah. No. <laughs> I know so I missed it. No, like I remember Bobby Lee was hyping you up. He's like, yeah. oh, he's like, he's just this. <laughs> that's crazy my brother. Dude. Okay, that's my sharp, brother. <laughs> like this menace. Like, I don't know. Like I was like, oh, he, he sounds interesting. He actually brought me there. <laughs> I didn't want to go initially. I'm like, dude, I, I don't want to go. Let's just get some Korean food. He's like, come on, dude. <laughs> you gotta meet these guys. It'll take 15 minutes. But anyway, that 15 minutes ended up me being on the podcast. Yeah. And through that, I met. My homies, Dave Cho, Money yeah. Mark, Heather Leather, Dylan the Kid, Eddie Kid. Just it goes on and yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And then we ended up going to Big Bear to record. We, we thought we were going to jam, mm-hmm. but we re- ended up recording an album. This album. Oh, yeah, yeah. This album. Ego, Ego Moya. And uh, we ended up doing this. 
and we ended up touring and doing shows. We did an East Coast tour, West Coast tour. And so our final, like we, you know, we did the, the tours. We went up to Canada as well. But then we did one last show. This was our last thing we were going to do in New York for Steve Aoki's Fashion Week. It was one of the weirdest shows we've ever done because yeah. we had to perform like for a fat it was weird it was like the fashion industry they were ignoring us the whole time so i'm uh, like ah, you know yeah, like trying to get yeah. the yeah, you know like De- devil wears prada yeah yeah it was imagine doing like a rap punk rock, rock show in front of that crowd okay they don't want to see it but we did it yeah and you know Steve aoki ended up doing a, re- a remix of one of our songs that's nice. Well, they cut my vocals completely out of it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I was uh, on the plane ride back because yeah. I knew that was it for me. I'm like, oh, man, I guess the band is done. That was our last How did gig. you know it was done? Like, they because just- they, that's what they said. They go, they, 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 I got an email saying that this, that was it. Who, Dave, Dave? Well, no, just the, the management for the whole, the band thing. Oh, They're like, oh, okay. you know, sorry, you know, blah, 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 what? to inform you, this is, we're going to, we're not going to do it now. And, and so I was, yeah. So you, I had mean, a, you had a manager just telling you, hey, you guys should make a band. And then all of a sudden, it's no, like, no, ah, no, you know, no, it was, it was a collective, guys, it was a collective oh, okay. um, understanding of that we're going to do that. But it was just like, we, it ran its course. We did the, the yeah. you know, we did the touring and then, you know. And all that. And so I'm on the plane ride back from New York. Was it JFK, right? JFK to LAX. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm literally like panicking, Bryce. I'm like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? The band's done. And so I'm like, I don't know what got into me, but I'm like, oh, I should just do my own podcast and, and on, the, on the plane. And then I just turned around and I, I turned to Money Mark and I'm like, hey, we... Will you be my first guest? <laughs> and <laughs> so literally, I guy. just decided uh, on on the plane ride to 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 give it a shot. Yeah. And so we started. I mean, we're growing, right? I mean, we're not all the way up there. We're still we're working up the mountain, aren't we? This is episode ninety eight. So you're episode ninety eight, my friend. Ooh. So you're getting on. Is a good year. Yeah, you're getting on during a good time. Yeah. And I'm so excited you're here. Um, the podcast is still alive. It, we're sus- sustaining, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're holding in there. We're, Bryce, can you hear me from like right here? Or <laughs> should I? Okay, my arms are getting. <laughs> I'm weak. So, but we're we're in there. Yeah. Okay, we're in there. But I want to. Well, you have a whole box there, Tristan, yeah. right? So what do you want? To, my workout regimen. I want to know. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know how you came day up with the sobriety name sobriety or your crux worldwide. How did you come up with? How did you? Okay, you asked me why. How I came up with starting a podcast. I want to know how you started. Do we have time for me to talk about the history of how I started this? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's Ready? go real quick. Right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Okay, I guess uh, I started. I graduated high school. T- 2005 Mm -hmm. then I worked at Tilly's and then I went to uh, community college try to do general ed but it it, general ed there it's it's so it sucked so bad Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that I took all the fun electives and then after that I I left one year after I went to OCC Mm -hmm. and then finally I was just like yeah you you know what uh my mom's a nurse so I was like ah like I told her, like, hey, I want to, I want to be a nurse just like you. You make lots of money, so I could do, I could make lots of money, and then I can do art on the side. Mm-hmm. And then she looked at me and she was like, No, that's not what you want to do. You want to make art, and I think that you should go to school Dude. for that. And shout out to my oh, mom. Oh man, I'm gonna, that's <laughs> I'm gonna cry right that's now. really nice of her to say <laughs> yeah. that because I know how Asian parents could be. Oh, she's Filipino. Yeah, my girl's Filipino, and her. Oh, yeah, so the same s- thing. My girls will be in her. Her mother's are a nurse strict? as well. She's but the nurse too. But are they strict too. though? They're, you know, they're very. They want the best for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but that's cool. Your mom. Well, she knows how hard it is. And yeah. She, and she knows that, like, it's like, oh, you couldn't even pass general ed at OCC. Yeah, what yeah. makes you think you're going to be a nurse? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, do you, do your, you do you, you know, like, yeah, that's go cool. to the art institute. It's right next door. They just moved in. And I was like, oh, okay. 
And, and you did that. And I did that. I went to the Art Institute and yeah. they were like, hey, so what do you want to do with yourself? And I was just like, oh, I want to be a fine artist. So I was like thinking like David yeah, Cho kind of like, yeah. I want to be an artist. And like, it's, I was thinking of like Rhode Island's like uh, the college, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, art yeah, school, yeah, yeah. but it's not. It's, our institute is a trade school. And so That's I went cool. there and they were like, oh, you want to paint? You want to be a painter and you want to do fine art? You want to do gallery stuff? It's like, perfect. Graphic design is perfect for you. <laughs> and That's it's like cool. totally not what it is. Yeah. But I'm yeah. glad. It was like a devil in disguise because yeah, yeah. graphic design is pretty much what uh, is the reason why. Because um, there's the beat culture, but mm -hmm. there's also the pin culture. You don't there, know this, but there's, there's a huge. pin culture? Yeah, I'm going on tour pretty soon. I'm going to go to Austin, Texas. Going to He's going San on Francisco. tour. Doing pins, dude. More about this. This is, yeah. Open the box, dude. <laughs> no, Open the what? box. I need to see what's up with this, no, dude. I mean, I'm so proud uh, of you. This is well, crazy. I mean, mine's different. Everyone varies. Dude, and everyone I, mean, has I want to get own. in. I want to see what's up with your pins, dude. Well, this is this you is going the, on tour for pins. Yeah, with doing your pins. Shout out to Patches and Pins. Yeah, we're, we're yeah, go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Patches and Pins. What? They're doing their thing. It's like a exhibition. So you, there's like probably like 200 people. I should invite you next time. You'll yeah. be so overwhelmed, dude. Yeah. Uh, can you give us an example of uh, what you do? Okay. Well, yeah. I have, well, these are some of the stuff that I have. Look at Bryce's these wheels. Are, the wheels turning in <laughs> Bryce's head. This you is getting just ideas, my, Bryce? This is, this is my box mm -hmm. that I use when I vent. That's your merch, is that your merch box? This is my merch mm -hmm. box. This is what I use. Okay. Are, these well, are my business have, cards. Yeah, okay, let me check it out. Can I have one? Yeah, you can have one. You can choose for... So I vary. I, I have a print shop, and um, I print out my own business cards. So I have, like, different oh, yeah. ones. This They're is all Saget, this is Saget, Street Fighter. Yeah. Can right. I have this one? Yeah. Uh, can, we, can we show pop culture stuff? Yeah. Are we going to get pulled? No, no, oh, okay. no, no, you're good. I'm going to put this right here. Yeah, that one's a Rick and Morty Street Fighter one. Oh, yeah. Like, all these are all... So, my thing is I do I a lot of, one of these. pop culture mashups. And um, you can even look at these. I make buttons, Tristan too. Cruz, CruxWorldwide.com, Instagram, T yeah, yeah, underscore yeah. Crux, info at CruxWorldwide.com, doggy. You heard it first <laughs> at the Stevie Weeby Show. All right? That's why you're here, bro. We're here to promote stuff like this. Thanks, That's dude. great stuff. Thank you. I I'm love glad. I, I grew up on Street Fighter. Awesome. Well, great is that podcast. Bag, is I'll that see you guys bag later. filled with different types of pins? Like, I see so many varieties. These are buttons. So, I also make buttons, too. Oh, you do buttons as well. Yeah. I, um... I do shows, so like I sh I should have done the show that you were doing. So yeah. I, I have a merch table. I do can I have one stuff of those? at Beat Cinema. Can yeah, you one? can get more than one. Oh my goodness! I do. Uh, those are all buttons that I make. Oh my goodness! Um, I want to give you some stickers. Yeah, too. dude. Oh, this one's tight. Look at this, Bryce. Okay, Tristan. Before we get ahead, yeah. how do you how do you make a a button like this. I have a button machine. You have a I, button machine. Yeah, I use a button machine. And, and what then, is um, a button machine? A button machine is a little machine that you could I want, use. To I make, want two more to Go make ahead. buttons. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's self-explanatory. Yeah, okay. <laughs> self okay, so it just makes buttons. A button machine. Yeah, a button the machine. Is it yeah, the thing I also, where you stamp down. I stamp down. Yeah, and I also do um, custom ones for people. So when I'm whenever I'm at events, people can sit down and draw their own like custom buttons and everything. Yeah, and then I press it for them, so they can draw whatever they want, and I can turn it into a button. I it's just got like a visual. My thing. Remember that movie, uh, Election? It's back Election. from back in the day. No. Matthew Broderick, uh, Reese uh, Witherspoon. I don't watch anything, Steve. Well, she the, they're the, they're running for a high school president, and uh, Reese Witherspoon's character has a button machine, and she like it's she like makes pins at night, and it reminded me of that. So I know exactly what this is. Yeah. So what's the cost of making pins? Making pins I or making buttons? More. So there's a difference. These I just are want buttons. One more. That's it. Actually, well, I don't want to take this more. back. No, you get no, a no. handful. I wait, make wait. a bunch of them like every night or every other night that I, I go out. I don't want this character. This is awesome. But, but keep going, Tristan. Um, oh, yeah. And then I, I do, I, I vend like, um, so I get invited to a lot of shows now since mm -hmm. I do custom buttons and I, I sell mm -hmm. pins. Oh, so yeah. So like uh, my calendar, like I, I get requests to do, to do. If you ever need any events, I do weddings, bar mitzvahs. 
um, I don't know. Keep what going. Else? Keep birthdays. Going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> birthdays and bar mitzvah. Too. Say five. You gotta say five yeah. more things. Uh, five more. <laughs> um, you said bar mitzvah. Oh, quinceañeras. Uh, quinceañeras. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Backyard parties. Backyard parties. I also do house shows. House shows. Well, house shows. Not only. Back- th- not only that. If you're an indie rock band or a punk band or a heavy metal, whatever kind of music you do, and you need pins, holler at me. Holler at Tristan. How about this? If you have a <laughs> if you have a music website, okay? Yeah. And you want to get some pins done, go to Tristan. Right? What else? What else, Bryce? What are you missing? Uh, funerals. Fu- Fun- funeral. I can do it. I Oh that you're going. No, Ooh. I've done I've I've done I made buttons for uh funerals before. Some uh one of my friends' dad passed away, so I made buttons for, oh, for him. Oh you did. Yeah. That's Pro bono. Oh, so yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's the most most bizarre pin you've made? Bizarre pin. Oh, like, yeah, button yeah. or pin? Or button and pin. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't really know. Like the okay. the it's, the bizarre ones are when when people make them. Like um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've I've had a um, I've a girl draw realistic dicks and vaginas. They were so good. I had to keep them. I was like, oh, can you make me one? T- can you make two of those oh, for me? You got I didn't bring them. Oh, okay, I was gonna yeah, say I, I want to see actually, those. I I should have brought them, but I have like a collection of other people's artwork that oh. they draw, and sometimes they're so good. I'm like, all right, can I can I get those? Yeah. I collect buttons too, and I like wow. collecting other people's like, buttons. buttons. Yeah, and so I, there's a whole culture of this going on. Not for buttons, but pins. for pins. Let's see some. Let's see okay, some examples so of their of pins. These are like pop culture mashups. So I, I did a sideshow SpongeBob, and that's like a um, SpongeBob Simpsons. Look at that, one. dude! I did. You a, get an idea, Bryce? <clears throat> I did Haterade. I also do the backings oh. myself. Can I, I get a Haterade? You can. You can have the Haterade. Oh. Yeah, I haven't even gotten to my stickers yet. Well, let's keep this. Is let's, let's okay. finish up the pins. I want to give more okay. examples. Going. And then, so this is this is called a tiny link, and this is a Rick and Morty. This is Rick and Morty l- link. Tiny Are you link. getting that, Bryce? Yeah, it's a lot of it. It's like puns and stuff. Yeah, Edward Scissor Hans. Wow, look at this, Bryce. It's like a Hans Moleman mixed Bryce, in with this? Edward Scissor Hans. And then I, I do stuff. Yeah, I. You know what? I need. Can I have an Edward Scissor? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, do. yeah. I'm sorry. I just want to ask. No, no, no. I just want. No, I just want two. No, 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 no. I don't want to take your, your all your merch. No. I just want to get examples of. Can of I this tell you? Beautiful. Can go you ahead. tell you what happened a couple months ago? I didn't tell anybody. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But go like, ahead. Someone s- broke into my car and they stole like this much of like enamel pins, and I had to re up again. But like, I I take like ten of. I, I bring ten of each. Yeah, some, and then they. Where did they break? And in? my my gym bag and uh, my yoga block. So if you're there, you're watching this. Don't you're an asshole. God, that sucks, <laughs> yeah. man. I know, but did they know you had this? No, they just broke into my car. I think it was just like probably some random dude because like or girl, because uh, it's not like they knew. It. I don't even understand why they would even like take it yeah because it's not like oh now nah, i could sell these it's kind of like it made me so upset yeah i was i was upset at first but like i was like an hour from now like i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna like be angry for an hour mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then after that i'm gonna have to just like not think about it anymore because a week from I'm now so it's sorry. like i shouldn't have to think yeah. about this yeah would you, would you be upset <laughs> I'd be yeah, very you get upset. It. It's like you, how much? How much worth? If you don't mind me, how much all together? Yeah, how much money is probably that? like fifty, fifteen hundred? If I sold them all, fifteen hundred. Yeah, because these like I I charge ten dollars each, and uh, these are ten dollars each. Yeah. Wow. Look, do well, you I mean, that? like I I, I also good for do, you, dude. No, no, ten dollars each. Yeah, I mean, I can. I also do discounts too. I hook people yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you gotta, dude. I'm telling you, Bryce. I'm just between me and you. I know we gotta do another read soon, but just I'm talking to you, Bryce. Make sure you 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 get his info. All right. Because we're we're looking <laughs> to do right. merch too. We're looking yeah, to do merch, do merch too, man. Okay. And I like your what you're doing here. Yeah. I, I do like what you're doing here, brother. And like, yeah, brother. Um, I love it. 
and look I at also, the packaging, dude. Look yeah, how dope the packaging is. The packaging, is. I, I, I have a print shop in my garage, and I, I print all these out myself. Oh, wow. So you're a self-made, you're your own facility. Well, yeah, because I don't want to have to, uh, I, the only time I ever want to deal with production is, I can't make these, so I get these through China, the enamel pins. Oh. I outsource them. Oh. But I make these the backings. Everyone does. There's, yeah, there, if yeah. anyone, uh, listen. If anyone tells you that uh, like someone from Texas is like making enamel pins, they're lying to you. They're just outsourcing and shipping it to you. All right. That's, <laughs> well, that's <laughs> like, an insight, right the there. Truth. Yeah, that's some insight. So, wow. And the the, the and there's a lot of middlemen. Well, the so overhead's you, cheap for you. The overhead, the the overall for overhead, just for all this stuff. Yeah, the, it's really cheap for me, and I also it's it's good to have my own print shop because I don't have to rely on other people. I don't have to wait, and I also help other pin makers out. Wow. Shout out to other world. Yeah, yeah. So like, I have like other other friends that like I I print stuff out for. Wow, amazing, dude. This yeah, is I make cool zines stuff. too. Yeah. Um, so do we have to, well, the Bryce here say we have to uh, do another read? Yep. We're going to do another read and come directly back to your merch. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, this next sponsor is for Purple Mattress, folks. I have one myself. I haven't slept as well in years, okay? You get a 100-night risk-free trial. If you're not fully satisfied with the Purple Mattress, you could return your mattress for a full refund. Backed up by a 10-year warranty, free shipping and returns, free in-home setup, and old mattress removal. This is important, folks. If you, if you apply now, you get a free purple pillow with the purchase of a mattress. And that's in addition to the great free gifts they're offering site-wide. Just text. This is what you got to do, folks. You text Stevie S. T E E B E E at 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 four seven four seven four seven. Okay, so you text it at four seven four seven four seven. So text the the name Stevie S T E E B E E at like a regular message to the number to the number to the number 474747 and message and data rates may apply and data rates may apply okay get your free pillow try out the mattress man if you don't like it you can return it give it a shot why not you know you might sleep like a baby like me you might sleep like a baby okay are you happy with that yeah. and i was more like clear yeah. On the instructions, right? Yeah. Shout out to Purple Mattress. We love you guys. Okay. Back to you. I'm so hyped on your merch, man. Oh, thanks, this man. is good, man. Thank you. Let's get. Let's let, can we, can I, what's in this wooden box? Uh, let's be. Do you want me to show you the rest, or do we have time? Yeah, um, no, 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 no. Yeah, show us a couple more examples. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. For for the, I have this. Um, Mega Man. Yeah, but oh it's no, like, I want the Mega Man one. It's it's <laughs> it's childish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll return childish this one. Gambino. I want. The, I'll try. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I'm a fan of Gambino too. I'm a fan of it. So I want the Mega Man because I remember playing that on Nintendo. Hey, when are you gonna have him as a guest? Who? Gambino. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you gotta shoot for the stars, huh, Tristan? Hey. That's. I'm gonna put this out in the universe. That's gonna yeah, happen. Why one day. not? Why not? Childish, I think you can childish do it. Gambino. Mm-hmm. Episode uh, two. We loved you as Lando, We loved you as a young Lando Carizian, but we also love you as a musical, gifted person. Yeah, he's like okay. He's amazing. He's amazing. Okay, I want Frank Ocean. I want, I want Earl Sweatshirt. I want all. I of can them. see it in your eyes. I want dude. all of them. You I'm got putting this. it out there in the universe. <laughs> holler at me. Holler at me. We'll get you on here. <laughs> this is a great platform. When you say yeah, I, to really put a light on people and what they do. And just plug in what they do, right? Yeah, I appreciate this. This yeah. is the first time I've ever yeah, done no, a podcast. You, you, this is a perfect and, platform uh, for a cool. guy like you. Thank you. Do you have a Zelda one in there? A Zelda one? Yeah. yeah I Legi did a, a you have a Legend of Zelda one? Well, no, I mean, I did like a Tiny Link one. Oh, it Tiny Link, Zelda. oh. But that's a Rick and Morty one. I don't know. If do you have a Ryu or do you have a... Um, Not yet. Yeah. Well, but are you going to do other Street Fighter characters? Yeah. I okay. just have a bunch of stuff. But which one, which one is this? Which one is this? It's That one's a Pokemon. Oh, uh, Pokemon. They have Pokemon. Gudetama one. Gudetama Pokemon. Well, I like that one. Yeah. 
Can I give this to Bryce? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's for Bryce, you yeah. know. Can't leave him hanging. Let me let me be one of your sponsors. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we'll, just we'll talk after. <laughs> I'm just giving I'll you free We're doing a whole this whole this whole interview is a sponsorship. For yeah, you. I know. <laughs> this whole thing is a sponsorship for CrocTourWorldwide.com. Yeah. Just to put it out there, this whole thing is a. This is we're sponsoring. Yeah, yeah like, this is for you. Thank you. Can I see what's in the box, too, Tristan? What's in the box? What's in the magical box? What's in the box? It's Pandora's the box. Oh, you do stickers? Yeah. Bryce, yeah. Bryce, I, he does stickers. I, I, I like I, the quality. Thank you. I, I vectorize and design them myself. Hey, isn't this? That's a uh, little finger. Little finger from Game of Thrones. Yeah, the little Caesars. Little Caesars, little finger. I need this one. This one more. I just need this one. I have a Game of Thrones tattoo. I need this one. Tristan, can I have it? Yeah. Oh, I, just, and then I need this one. There's a there's a new Aladdin. Little Caesars, little finger. There's a new Aladdin um, movie coming out. Yeah. So I, I have this one. It's can like I? it's Towly as the magic carpet. Uh, <laughs> dude, look at this quality, Bryce. It's, it's, it's shout out is, to Sticker App. This is They're the guys that make my. Let's my see stickers. some more examples. You guys need to like put my. Is my this stuff Snoop Dogg? In, uh, yeah, this is a Snoop Dogg album, but it's based on um, Stoop Kid from um, Hey Arnold. I don't know if you ever watched uh, Hey oh, Arnold, is, but uh, just it's very whatever it is, I'll look into it and I love it. And <laughs> this you. is the last one I'm going to take of yours. <laughs> I love it. I love, dude. What are you coming up with these ideas, man? Where I come up yeah. with them, I just have a list of them, and I just, I, they just pop in my head. Sometimes I'm in the sauna, and I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah. Like sometimes I'm down? riding my bike. Yeah, yeah, it just depends. Sometimes I watch a lot of TV now. So oh right, right. Let's see some other examples. Job. Well, uh, do you want one of these? Because I have. Oh yeah. Yeah. So with the enamel pins, I make like a hundred of well, them Bryce, each. Take so it's a, um, a haterade, like Kool Aid. Yeah. Like the the sort of like sell out really quick because wow, I only make this 100. Is cool but sometimes stuff. I do restocks and then the stickers I make 200 of each. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if you watch Doug. No, uh, no, no. I'm not okay. really up on a lot of it. <laughs> a lot on, of the, yeah, the cartoon stuff. What kind of cartoons did you watch growing up? You don't uh, watch cartoons? Is that a Futurama sticker? This one? Yeah, it's a Futurama Bob's Burgers one. That's actually, oh, Thundercats? Thundercats. Uh, oh, okay. See, I, oh, I, G. I. Joe, when G. I. G. I. Joe was out, yeah. Um, wow, they have uh, Transformers, and that maybe like He Man and yeah, stuff yeah, like He Man. That. Okay, uh, Transformers. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, Go Go Bots. Go Bots. Yeah, Go Bots. Uh, Bryce, yeah, that's why. Can, you, can have... you add some in there? Do you, what did you grow up on? Uh, Tailspin. Tailspin, oh, Tailspin for yeah. Bryce. Uh, Rescue Rangers. Do you remember yeah. that one? Vaguely, um, Aladdin, Simone and uh, Ala Dude, Aladdin was dope. Um, God, I miss those days when I was a remember, kid. Saturday mornings, yeah. Remember gargoyles? Yeah. Oh. So you were heavily influenced by animation and cartoons. Obviously, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, that's yeah. part of part of like this. Yeah. So let me let I me do. ask you something. Yeah. With all this merch, how do you get how do you get rid of it all? How do I get rid of it? Yeah. All? Let's talk about these conventions, um, man. Okay, so I, I, I sell them at conventions, and I do a lot of shows. I do a lot of, uh, so I, I was vending at Beat Cinema, and I, that's where I saw Free the Robots mm -hmm, the other night. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, you were at the podcast, huh? You are at the CD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's. And I was like, "How was it?" Because I'm gonna be there uh, uh, on yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. And then he was just like, "Oh yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah. You just go all over the place." You. you <laughs> <laughs> well, he was honest. Yeah. Yeah. I think my homie, the homie Gino, was on there too. Was Gino on the? Yeah, bill? he was. Yeah. yeah. Was he that? Giovanni he's Marks. Tall? Yeah, he's tall. Yeah, a black dude. Black dude. Yeah, yeah he's he was awesome. on the show. He was on the show. Yeah. Okay. And I, I want to get the whole year podcast. And they, and they used to be a group called Lab Waste uh, in the early 2000s. Him oh. and uh, the homie um, Adlib. Uh, Th he changed it to Thavius Beck. I want to get Thavius Beck on here. Remind me because he actually teaches how to use Ableton. Can you write Thavius's name on the, on the list, please? I need Thave on here. Okay. Yeah. With that being said, what takes place in these conventions? Like, how does it work? Do you have a booth or and stuff? Yeah. Or? So uh, you pay for a booth. Well, for the most part, like the, there's the conventions, and then I do small shows. A lot of vendors that like uh, are my peers, they don't do what I do. Like, they don't go to bars and like hustle. Mm -hmm. They only do big events. And the big event right now, there's two. There's Patch and 
patches and pins. And patches then and our, pins. Yeah, and then uh, patch, patch or uh, pin and patch con. They're kind oh, of like cool. rivals. Oh. Like. So is it like a comic con for people like you guys? Is it like your guys' yeah, Comic Con? It, it, I think Patches and Pins started like three years ago. It's mm. fairly new, mm-hmm. but it's blowing up. It's it's Dope. getting bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger. Uh-huh. I went to the first one and like now like there's uh there's gonna be one in New York, there's mm-hmm. gonna be one in Austin, there's mm-hmm. gonna be one in Portland, there's gonna be one in San Dope, Francisco, dude. LA. Is this blowing your mind or what? I wanna go. What's LA one? I know, dude. This yeah, you're blowing um, them. I had no idea. Like similar to the beat scene, like I well, this yeah, exists. Like beat, beat scene is huge yeah, too. Have you ever yeah. been a low end? I went back in the day, maybe once or twice. I was so drunk, I don't remember, yeah. dude. Like I was just at the bar, like faded. Like I don't really remember. Yeah, that that's a. That's I remember a big... Flying Lotus was on the bill. Mm-hmm. A couple other cats. I, yeah. I, I hardly remember. I was. Yeah. I'm sober now, but I was like. How long have you been sober? Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to strive for. I'm Are you sober? Ele- uh, yeah, I stopped drinking uh, oh, good for 11 you, man. days ago. Good for you, man. And Stick like, with it, man. Yeah. Yeah. I um, I almost, the first, I think the second or third day, mm-hmm. like uh, my, my friend, we were going, funny enough, we were going to Beat Cinema and mm-hmm. he like w- jumps into my car and he had like a six pack or something and he's like, hey, like chug a beer and everything. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, Nah, I'm not. I'm not drinking anymore. Yeah. And he's like, "What? <laughs> you know how like friends are? What? You not? Yeah. You're not drinking anymore? Yeah. And then, and I was like, "Yeah, that's. I'm. I'm not. And I'm like, I'm. I'm done. Yeah. And I'm then, just not good on it. Yeah. I'm not either. good on it. And I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah. Do you? I don't want to risk what I, I'm doing yeah, right man, now. You got. You got a good thing going on, Tristan. You know what I mean? You got a real good positive thing going on. You know? Yeah. And then so I was like about to drive, and then he was like good because i didn't think you had it i was like i was like really i don't think you had it in you i was like oh yeah and then i was like thank god you said that because i was about to drink a beer right now uh, with you. <laughs> yeah that's crazy <laughs> but so, like i like it i yeah, like yeah. it I li- i'm i'm more focused yeah. and i don't have to rely on it if i was drinking i think i probably would have gotten here a little tipsy oh. and i probably would have been like more Cause like when you when you when you drink you're not you're not in the moment and yeah, like sometimes yeah. things are it's hazy. good to be in the moment yeah and I don't yeah. like blacking out anymore yeah that's a good thing man I went and to an art show and I like well they uh, they offer free drinks there, no right? I got oh. there drunk already oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then like I totally my friend D- Dirty Merlin mm-hmm. was DJing. And I was just dancing yeah, yeah, and everything yeah. like as usual, yeah, yeah, killing yeah. it and everything. <laughs> and then it ends at 12. Uh-huh. And then like I woke up at four. I woke up at four standing up. I was blacked out. And then I four, uh, in, the four in the morning and I was still in the gallery and there's probably like 20 people left. And I was like, oh, oh what the hell? Oh and I was God. just like, I'm still here. And I'm, I'm like standing. Like I just like came back to up. reality. Yeah. I, like I blacked out. coma. Yeah, but like, cause I wasn't drinking or anything yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. Had I been drinking too, I would have passed out. But like, since I was just buzzing, I think I was just like walking like a zombie, and that's a scary thing. Like yeah, yeah. walking around, and like you wake up the next day, and you're like, oh god, what did I do? And yeah, then you have yeah. to like text, hey, was I cool? And your friends are always like, yeah, you were chill, dude. They yeah. never, they never really tell you what's up. They're like, yeah, yeah you were cool. Like what? <laughs> All right, that's crazy. So let's uh, like yeah, yeah, as far okay. as the, no 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 because I, I, I had I had another I had another question about these uh, conventions. Do you have to apply to go or are you invited yeah, you to go? To, so or? you you have to apply. So it's like designer con. You ever been a designer con? No, no, I have okay, no idea. That's yeah. another thing. Do you know about I, this price? Nope, I do not know. Okay, okay. That's... Are you tuning out on us? Nope. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. But it's, yeah. So what? What's that? Yeah, Designer Con is like the biggest event. It's mm-hmm. kind of like a Comic Con, mm-hmm. but for for people that make designer toys, mm-hmm. not the kind of designer toys you're thinking about, but like the, oh, the yeah, actual yeah. like <laughs> yeah. action figures, action figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. then like uh, pins and art. It's just. Uh, a bunch of like really big artists just go there and like have booths, and so you'll see like all of the rising stars, the new and the old, like all the the mm-hmm, art mm-hmm. of Skinner is gonna That's be there. So cool. You'll see like uh, I Suck like Lord. that. Wait, wait, isn't that an artist? Yeah, I've heard that name, Skinner. 
Yeah. He, God, where have I heard that name? Did he use... Oh, God. He's, he's been he's, around, yeah, right? Yeah, he's been... He's around. And was he, he around does when Shepard Fairey was around as well? I don't, I don't, I don't oh, know. Okay, okay, I don't know. But well, I've heard Obey, that guy's... Obey probably has yeah, something there yeah. too. He have does. you thought of... Because it seems like you have a good pl- uh, thing going on, but yeah. w- would you op- be open to doing action figures? Yeah, I like want to do that. Yeah, I want to do that. So if, you made if a lot anyone's of listening, like... Holler at uh, you? Yeah. Well, I know I I knew a guy I was going to link up with him because he does sculptures and mm-hmm, everything, mm-hmm. but that would be that would be something like way better. And yeah. like I think if I go to designer con, I would kill more because yeah. all I have to offer right now is like stickers and pins. But that's and, still like, good, dude. It's still you have a good. good start, dude. Yeah, and I don't I don't like carry I everyone wants me to make shirts, but Yeah, I don't why know. don't you do shirts? Shirts, shirts just I, I, if I were to do it, I want to do a made to order mm-hmm. because I don't like carrying. Mm-hmm. It sucks. It's like being like a a, a DJ that like carries vinyls. Mm-hmm, like you mm-hmm. have like four boxes to yeah, 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 yeah. to like a show. I hear like, you. <laughs> I with hear this, you, I just have like one box and I have a wagon. Boom, and boom, And everyone's boom. like, oh, that's, that's so cute. You have a little wagon. Dude, that <laughs> stands out though. <laughs> They'll be like, that's the dude with the wagon. I, you know I mean? I'm always like, the guy that's like, oh, weren't you at that backyard show? You were yeah. making custom buttons for people. That's how people remember. You're that button guy. You, you, you make custom, but say that again. Custom buttons. Custom, custom button. pins. I am. I don't make custom. P- but custom buttons. Custom buttons. What's your rate for? Because because we're no, we're I mean, look like, into this, right, Bryce? Well, for, we'll talk after. But so, what's your rate? I mean, for the buttons, it's more uh, interactive. So I have a a table, and it's all lined up with with. Um, pens and markers and then you literally you get a marker and you just draw whatever you want and that's how you make the custom button and I have my button machine I take the piece of paper and I just and I make it in front of you kind of oh. like Benihana and I'm like Ksh. are you listening to this Bryce? Yeah. he could do it on the spot like Benihana chefs yeah it, on the spot yeah dude good for if you, you man. It, it, if you ever want me as a like a side guest, I'll be over there and I'll make buttons. Yeah, while we can use you guys. We need a button guy. I'll just let you know we need a button guy. We need a sticker guy. We need a pin guy. We need a shirt guy. We need a beanie guy. We need a hat guy. We need a poster guy. Every kind of guy. <laughs> remix that. Right My fans remix that. Send it to me. All right. Well, I think we got to wrap up here because you know okay. we got to think. We got to be uh, mindful towards. Uh, you know what you know with this but dude i think we got a lot of good info yeah, are I'm, you ha- satisfied with the with the, with the amount of information we got out there with yeah, your, your business yeah that's that's can, cool can i mean we, like i was we, gonna tell you more about like my uh design career and how i, I, I well, started how, we'll, but do that that we'll do that for part two we'll do part two we'll okay. do that for part two okay we'll do that for part two tristan because i was like yeah 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 but with that we have to um let's plug <laughs> i want to plug I want. Can I just say read because this is all your info, right? Yeah, that's all. Okay, so in order for if you guys want anything done by Tristan Cruz, pins, buttons, stickers, etc., his name's Tristan Cruz. Go to cruxworldwide.com. His Instagram is t underscore c r u x. And then this is your website here. Yep. Info at cruxworldwide.com. Beavis and Butthead right there. Beavis and Butthead. Okay, right there. Are you happy? Did we get all the info? Mm-hmm. Thanks, brother. Yeah, thank you, dude. I this really enjoy so your company, fun, man. We could, we could go on for hours. Yeah, I, I already knew when I first <laughs> met you. We could, we, this could be a five-hour thing. This could be a five-hour thing. Did you go through all that or what? No, um, no I didn't even read any. <laughs> though your questions are literally right below. <laughs> so there you go again, Bryce. I was prepared, but that was Organica 101. I'm prepared. I've been trying to prepare more, so. <laughs> I was prepared for you, but I knew with you, I was so confident. I'm like, we could just shoot the breeze, like, yeah. for three hours. and Because you remind me of, like, uh, just, like, a friend, like, that yeah. I would, like, if we... If we would go I to a coffee shop yeah, and if, just talk about... You got to get my friendship things. here. Cause, like, we'll if, do, we'll talk after. I want to uh, get your okay, references okay, as cool, well. Cool, 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 and then we'll oh, definitely... Oh, yeah, we're still li- Are we still live? Yeah, yeah, we're oh, still live. <laughs> no, 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 we're still recording. Okay. Oh, you're <laughs> acting like we're I mean, done? Yeah, I thought we were no, done. No, no, I was like, why I am I still holding some, the mic? I still have to do some shout outs. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. So, dude, thanks again, Tristan. Yeah, no problem. The best of luck to you yeah, for your future you, conventions. And I only see a bright future for you. Come to Beat Cinema. I'll try. Remind me. Or like the Beat Battle. 
Remind I'll me, and you. then I'll try to go. Yeah, I okay. would love to see that. It'll blow my mind, okay. I bet. Um, so that's uh, thanks, and then we got that info. I got to shout out the new Patreons this week. Shout out to my man, Brian Stewart. Brian Stewart, Izzy Marley, and my man, Isaac. Shout out to my buddies, Jeffrey Shepard and Isaac Amos Kua. Again, the same people keep buying my uh, other albums, like, Cause these guys have bought like a, one EP, and then another guy will buy like collage of the Mar- like. Thanks, thanks. I, we need like a thousand more of people like this, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Maybe a hundred thousand people more. Um, the Stevie Weeby Bandcamp dot com to get any of my music. Okay, so go there if you want to really support the show. Patreon dot com slash Stevie Weeby is where you need to be, right, Bryce? Right. We're going to revamp it. We're already in talks of doing that. Yeah, big things on the way, guys. If you want exclusive songs that you can only get on here, you come here. This is the only place you can get them. If you want to get exclusive, really personal diaries, I do these diary logs every Monday. Have you heard, heard any of them? I'm still behind right now. Well, we'll try to catch up. You can go to patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby and get, get in there. You'll be in the loop, my friends. Okay, patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby if you, want, if you want to follow the show. Instagram slash Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. If you want to send physical stuff like this beautiful sweatshirt here, okay? Send it to the Stevie Weeby Show, 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, um, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California. Okay? Um, did we get everything? Yeah, yeah. Thanks again to Purple Mattress. Make sure you, you 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 do that and make sure you put the right code in, right, Stevie, and then text it, to the text number. it to four seven four seven four seven. That's it. Get your free pillow, right? Bluechew.com, right? Bluechew.com with the promo code Stevie. Same thing here. It's right there. It's not rocket science, all right? If you do that, you're gonna help the show go, right? It's gonna help us out as well. We have big plans on the way. Um, there is a little Ray, unfortunately. Little Ray's back. Little Ray's back this week. I don't know what he's up to, but thanks, brother. Thank you. Thank you. The best of luck. I already know you have a bright future ahead. Thank you, man. With all this stuff. Thank you for blessing me. Yeah. Namaste. Yeah. Namaste. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. Little Ray. <laughs> Welcome to Lil Ray's World Show. All I gotta say is kids' minds must grow. I got abducted by some aliens dropped in snow. Whoa. Stuck into a world that I do not know. So join me in adventures now And I promise not to have a cow My name is Little Ray Hey, hey My name is Little Ray Hey, hey, hey So welcome to my world To all the boys in What the hell happened to you, girl? Well, I was supposed to babysit for the Hamiltons, and some strange man kicked me in the river, and I didn't know how to swim, and I drowned in death. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm so sorry that happened to you, girl. If me and Beep see this man, we're going to kick his butt. All over this purgatory planet, man. You could hang out with me and Beep for the time being. But we did write a song about you. Your name is Bree, right? Yeah. How'd you know that? Well, Beep told me he's more powerful than R2-D2, man. 
We wrote a song about you, and it goes like this, Bree, the babysitter. This one's about Bree, the babysitter, Bree the man. Babysitter, man. It's so sad how she passed away, my friends. Listen up. Uh. Bree the babysitter was not a stripper, man. Her body was found in the bottom of the river. Wanna know who had kicked her? A man wearing glitter with a trench coat bigger than a boat with a skipper. Pray to the big dipper. Bree could not swim like flipper. Beep touch a transmitter. Couldn't make it to the Hamiltons before they went to dinner. Cause Bree got scoped out and picked from the litter. Lil Ray is a true spitter. The accomplice was a drifter. And Bree couldn't swim a lick, so go figure. It's sad how her body sank like bottles of the liquor. I would find her killer with my finger on the trigger Instead he escaped like a dirty counterfeiter If me and Beep see him he'll get faded with them clippers It's Bree, man, the babysitter, man It's Bree, man, the babysitter So sad how she passed away In the bottom of the river Join us real soon for another episode of Lil Ray's World, man I'm looking to do some shows too, so holler at me, man be sure to check out the Chip Patreon. Fun stuff on the way, guys.